and jewelry, it's a big deal. And that usually signifies a big event in life. And that's why our next guest is a young entrepreneur on a mission to make the buying experience transparent and personalized. And she says she's also got unbeatable pricing. That's right. This is Kaylee. <laughs> and you'll have to say your last name. Is it Testweed? Testweed. Okay, yes. wonderful. You are with the Diamond Reserve. Yes, the Diamond the owner? Reserve. Yes, I love it. That's yeah. wonderful. We have just been uh, sort of shopping here today <laughs> right? on Colorado's Best with all these beautiful, beautiful diamonds. Tell us uh, a little bit about you know your history and, and your business. So the Diamond Reserve is a private jewelry office located in Cherry Creek. Um, I formerly worked in the jewelry business and saw that in Denver there was a demand mm -hmm. um, for a private jewelry mm -hmm. experience and one that had a focus on education. So what is different about a uh, private jeweler compared to, you know, walking into a store? So at the Diamond Reserve, we require our clients to book a private appointment. And first and foremost, we get our clients educated. We aren't just trying to sell them something we have out of the case. It's really important for them to understand the four C's of diamonds. Um, and then we can help them understand their budget and what exactly they're looking so for. So what are the four C's of diamonds? <laughs> yeah, right, well, it? first you have cut, cut. carrot weight, mm -hmm. um, clarity, and color. Right. I'm going to try one of these on because, you know, you just walk up and oh, these are just gorgeous. And you've designed these as well? Yes. Yeah, several of these I've designed and several are um, diamonds that clients have picked out and then I've guided them oh in God. designing them. Wow. So how does this work? Because, um, you know, um, Matt, he works with us. He, he was so excited you were on the show today because he recently uh, got engaged and yeah, you I helped him. That. Yeah, I did. Uh, so, I mean, did he come in and, you know, pick out the diamond and then how did, how did it become, you know, designed and how did it, you know, become a ring? How does that all work? So Matt came in and we got him educated on diamonds and then he selected the diamond that spoke to him, which is super important. Oh, they um, speak. They say they, something They do. You. They mm -hmm. do. They really <laughs> do speak to me. <laughs> and um, then from there, um, he had a vision of what his now fiance was looking for. Um, so I helped to guide him in that design, and then we made him a stunning engagement ring. Here, here's Matt behind the camera right now. We're going to ask him. We're going to put him on the spot. Jeez, and, and how bring many him over people here. are getting engaged yes, at the station? Yes, station. Nick, please, please, please congratulations too on your Hi, engagement. Matt. Good to you see actually, you. You actually helped uh, resize my engagement ring. Did I? <laughs> He's like, you know, he just loves you. So you, you help so many people with so many different things. And there is a real need for this, right? I mean, you know, yeah, it's I not the traditional way of buying rings. Yeah, I think the need is education. Diamonds aren't something that are easily understood by the consumer, and I think there's a need for a really transparent diamond buying experience. Okay, so how do you help? Okay, help Matt. Nick over there is engaged. He just proposed. He's our floor <laughs> director today. How do you help them find the perfect diamond? So, you know, first we get a good understanding of their budget. Um, what's important to them? Is it size? Is it quality? Um, or is it a lot of niche details in the engagement ring? And once we have all those things hashed out, um, we help them pick the perfect diamond. And from there, the rest is magic. It's just magic. I just <laughs> love it. So I'm just looking at you know this, these pieces over here. They all look brand new except for the one on the very end. It looks it looks like a, a beautiful you know piece from I don't know generations ago with this one with the with the ruby in it. Yes. So that is an antique piece. Um, several times uh, we a lot of times in our office we have antique pieces come through and there are lots of people that are looking for um, antique rings. I'm just gonna That's have beautiful. to put that on. That's uh, you know I mean there's something about kind of that old world beauty that people love about these antiques, right? Yeah, and a lot of times people come in with their grandmother's diamond mm -hmm. or a family diamond. We help them redesign it into a really? more modern piece of jewelry. I love that idea yeah. because then you you know keep something that's an heirloom in the family, right. but you can kind of put your own style, your own design like into it. No, I do. I like that. I like some of the new things that are out, of course. You know, I love the ring that my husband got me, but just such great styles coming out these days. Oh yeah, it's ever changing and it's really help fun. It's really fun helping people refine the design they want into a timeless piece of yeah. jewelry. Well, as our co-workers Nick and Matt have proved, love is in the air and it so is. there's it a big market be. for these Spring. diamonds. <laughs> You've got to get in touch with the Diamond Reserve. Uh, the phone number is uh, at the bottom of the screen there, 720-560-3548. They're at 100 Fillmore Street. Street in Denver, and their website is thediamondreserve.com.
Well, uh, yes. Yeah, uh, tomorrow's we'll edition about. of Colorado's Best on Fox is going to be live at Natural Grocers. We love them mm -hmm. over there. The theme is healthy from the inside out, and we're going to share the top supplements for you and your family.